Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix black screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now select the game exe file and then make a double click launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. So put a check over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, then go to properties once again and this time put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties, Go to this tab, this time click on change high DPI settings, put a check on override high DPI scaling behavior, put a check over here, select application, click on OK, apply, click on OK and then launch the game. Still not working, so when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to use NVIDIA GeForce experience to lower down graphic settings and then launch the game. So sometimes the game is not launching properly or if the game is crashing when you launch and if the game is not loading or completely not launching at all. So if that is happening then you can use NVIDIA GeForce experience. So go to NVIDIA GeForce experience and then click on the game. If you don't see the game you can scan your game over here. So click on this three dot and scan and once you see the game Click on the game. Now over here you can see optimize option. So click on optimize and let the process complete. Now once the game is optimized, uh, you can go to home and you can launch the game from GeForce Experience or you can even launch it from Steam. Now you can even click on this custom settings option. And over here, if you want to switch to window mode, you can just click over here and then you can switch to window mode and then hit apply. And now you can try to launch the game and then check. Now, when the game is already optimized and still you're facing the problem, in that case, you can re revert the optimization. So you can click on revert. And once it is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to delete delete user preference file from the save game folder. When you do that, saved settings will be lost. So open file explorer on your computer and then go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder and then open saved games folder. And over here you will see the game folder. So open the game folder, open this folder and then over here you can see user preferences. You can make a right click and then you can delete this once this is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to rename save game folder. But when you do so, this will result in loss of game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So you can create a backup first. Now for this again, go to file explorer, this PC, C drive, users folder, your username and then open saved games folder. Now over here, just create a backup. So copy this folder and then maybe you can paste it to the desktop. I already have a backup over here. Now, once you have a backup, now you can rename this folder. Make a right click and then you can rename it to maybe .old. Now, once you rename, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can even delete this folder, but you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So you can even delete the same game folder and then launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to run these files now for this go to game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder here you can see these files so first of all run this install pspc sdk runtime make a right click or click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and let the process complete now once this is done you can press any key on this window and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then scroll down and run this file and just make a double click and run this file and let it complete. 
now once that that is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can run this file click on yes to allow and even if you don't see anything just run it and then launch the game and then check next step is to run this file which is there in this folder now for this open file explorer in computer go to this pc open c drive now open program data folder if you don't see it on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items then open program data folder now open sony entertainment uh, sorry sony interactive entertainment folder and then open this folder open s22 and then open this folder scroll down and you will see this app manager folder make a double click now once you make a double click nothing will happen still you can launch the game and then check and then still not working you can delete the sony folder now you can go to the same location and then go back 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 now make a right click on this sony interactive entertainment folder and then you can delete this folder now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check still not working now first of all make sure that your graphic card is supported to play the game now if you go to the store page and scroll down you can see the uh, here you can see 6 GB VRAM is required so make sure that your graphic card is supported and the game I think it requires 6 GB or more of VRAM in my case I have Nvidia 350 and it is not detected by the game so this graphic card is not detected in the game when I launch the game the game detect only Intel not this one so I have tried many things but it's not working so if you have a laptop and your discrete graphic card is not supported in that case the game will not detect it and the game will use Intel one, Intel graphic card there is no fix and there are many fix online uh, it tells you you know they tell you to download some software and it will help you to force detect your GPU but I'm not using I'm not using that uh, I'm not sure if that software is good or not so maybe I need to upgrade my graphic card so if this is the case then you might face this problem now the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have Nvidia card go to Nvidia website if you have AMD card go to AMD website I'm showing for Nvidia so go to Nvidia website select product category for me it's GeForce now select the right product series so for me it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on find and then you will see the latest driver so right now it's 561.09 and then click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart the computer and then launch the game now if you have AMD card in that case you can go to AMD website and update your graphic card but first of all uninstall the current version then restart the computer then go to AMD website select your graphic card and then update the latest driver and then restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings over here and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in C drive open C drive program files x86 open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add 
in my case the game is already added so once the game is added click on the game and then click on options select high performance now click on save and then launch the game and then check if you have nvidia card you can also do this make a right click on the desktop show more option click on nvidia control panel and once nvidia control panel is open go to manage 3d settings and then go to program settings and then click on add over here now if you see the game in the list you can add the game from the list if you don't see the game in the list in that case uh, in my case it's here if, in that case you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add selected program so select the game click on add selected program and once the game is added now over here select high performance nvidia processor and then hit apply on the at the bottom left you will see the apply option hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check it next step is to now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game if you are able to launch the game complete the saders compile first so when you launch the game here you can at the bottom you will see compiling saders let this complete and once that is complete you can check now you can even try these options so launch the game first so when the game is in full screen mode uh, you can press alt plus enter on the keyboard just press alt plus enter and when it is in window mode now you can check so go to the game and then go to settings and then go to graphics and camera now over here select window mode so if this is set to full screen then set it to window mode and then you can check now the next step is to disable dlss so you can go to graphics settings and then you can disable dlss over here so in my case i have selected taa you can even select amd fsr or you can select taa so disable the dlss and then check this has also worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to cap the fps to 30 during the fight and once the fight is over you can set the fps you want so go to the graphics settings now here you can see frame rate limit now during the fight before the fight you can just set it to 30 so set it to 30 and then you can check once the fight is over you can always switch the fps back you can also lower down preset now if this preset quality is set to like ultra uh, you can set it to medium or you can set it to high so if this is ultra just set it to high or medium so i will set it to medium now check the performance now the next step is to now this is for desktop user make sure that you connect your monitor monitor to the dedicated graphic card so connect uh, sometimes the hdmi cable or the display cable is connected to the motherboard slot which has the intel graphic card so if you have if you have a dual graphic card uh, if you have a desktop then make sure that you you connect your uh, display cable or hdmi cable to the graphic card slot and then launch the game next step is to if you are using any third party antivirus like avast norton mcafee bit defender whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program I don't have any third party antivirus. You can add the exe file to exception or maybe the complete game folder to the exception list. And Windows security users can open Windows security and then go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app, allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive 
So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 491152. 15, 1. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows settings, go to update and security or Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug external devices from your computer. So if the devices which you're not using. So if you have hotas, wheels, pedals, or any kind of USB adapter, USB dongle, anything connected. Sometimes we have extra controller connected. So disconnect extra controller, disconnect multiple monitor, try to launch the game on single monitor, disable Steam overlay. Now for this, go to Steam Maker, I click on the game, select properties, and then go to the general tab and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn it off and then if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord settings and turn off overlay. If you have GeForce Experience running, go to GeForce Experience settings and then turn off in-game overlay. Or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. Now this has worked for many players. So close MSI Afterburner, Reboot Tuner. If you have any kind of overclocking application running, close it. This has worked for me. Now. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt. Also, if you have any kind of background application, third party services running, close all the third party services application and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. And you have to download x86 and x64. So download both the files, so click on it and then run this exe file. If you see repair, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. In my case, it is already installed, so please ignore this. It's telling me to restart my computer. Now download this x64. Again, run this exe file. Now, if you see repair, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Just ignore this error message. In my case, I have already installed it. It's telling me to restart my computer. Now, once both are installed. You will see a restart option like this. Click on restart. After the system restart, launch the game. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to 
update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find the BIOS. Go to driver space and find the BIOS and download the BIOS and then install the BIOS. Now in case of laptop, make sure before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. And during the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make that right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. Restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.